Okay, so this is how I used to blend Rolex, or wait, uh, I blended fiber and turned it into Rolex using just my hands. This surface, which is a polo shirt that I cut in half, and this is what I use as my surface, and two dowels. So, basically, okay, this is a lot of random fiber that I just picked up. This is a Rolex that I did earlier. But the phone started ringing, so I had to do it again. Um, this is what you do. You just grab all the fibers. You could sort of maybe fluff them up before, but in essence, you're going to be repeating the same thing over and over, so it's okay if you start with just like a bundle like this. What I do is I grab at the top and hold at the bottom. And I just pull until I separate the fiber and place it again on top of the other. These Rolex are, they were made with fiber that has a very long staple. So. Okay, so now I, pay, I placed um, the bit that I grabbed and pulled earlier on top and I'm just going to repeat the process. I grab, pull, and place again. Pull. And you just keep doing that until the fibers are as blended as you need them to be. Pull. See? Pull. I'm getting this bit is not wanting to really blend. So I'm gonna pull off um, a few bits by hand so it separates a bit. And then I'm gonna do it again. Just pull and place. So as you can tell, probably, um, it's very slow. It's not as efficient as when you use um, hand, hand carters, but you can do it. So now, to make the Rolex, you just pull off and place on the cloth. You want to have sort of a thin layer because in this case, you don't really draft the fiber when you're rolling it so you want a thin layer and the good thing about this is that you can have it as wide or narrow as you want it so what you do now is you place a dowel on top of like on close to the edge and you pull the fibers so you don't pull them up but you know what I mean I don't want to have to do this again so interpret my words and you just start Rolling. You remove the dowels. And there you go. It's a Rolex. This one, I blended the fibers more. And in this one, as you can see, I had a little bit of the orange at the edge and I just let it be. And I think they come out very pretty. So I hope you give it a try. And I hope that eventually you get the tools as well because see you can do it you don't need them but they really make the job um, a lot more enjoyable and it goes by a lot faster so hope you have fun and I can't wait to see your Rolex